people resent. How is, um, you said that, that um, in some ways, Palin was a harbinger, harbinger for Trump in the, in the way that, um, that he tied into the forgotten, um, who were blind to his or their unfitness. How, how what was she? What, what do we, I know, I know you don't like connecting the dots specifically, but how, what, what can we understand about from Palin to Trump, what happened there and how they differed in a way and how he was a lot more savvy uh, and, 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 and understood uh, some of the needs and, and, and so had, had talents that would take him a lot further. She was profoundly incompetent. But it represents a cultural moment that I think is defined most clearly by Joe Wilson, the congressman from South Carolina, during a State of the Union, who shouts, you lie to the president of the United States on national television. Not too many years before, he would have resigned in disgrace from the Congress, and he would have been called upon to do so by leaders of both parties. Instead, what happened? He raised a couple million dollars overnight. So if you're some poor schlub congressman who's schlepping over to the National Republican Congressional Committee to dial for dollars, 500 bucks at a pop, what's the lesson there? Behaviors that are incentivized and rewarded, you get more of them. So there's no longer a punishment for dishonesty, for craziness, it's rewarded in our political system. The statesmen and women, and we don't have a lot of them, but as a general proposition, the one place you won't see them is on a cable news channel. You see the insiders. The crazier you are, and there's no place that's more home to more crazy than Fox News. And so Fox became the driver of the Republican Party. The political party that used to be covered by TV networks instead became an appendage of the TV network. The politicians became seamlessly integrated between the contributor desk and the campaign trail. Politics became entertainment where anything could be true, any lie could be reality, and the serious business the life and death issues that political leaders face in a dangerous world were unceremoniously removed from discussion because they're boring and they don't drive ratings. And the danger of that is? It's a threat to American democracy. What, what Lincoln understood is that what would threaten this country would come from within not from an external threat. A, a democratic republic, and we're the oldest in the world, depends on an informed citizen. It, it depends on truth. Without truth, there can't be accountability. And without accountability, you don't have a functioning, healthy democracy. And all over the world, not just in the United States, you see a regression of democracies fueled by a social media world where truth has been obliterated. Uh, Fox had been hesitant in the beginning to support Trump, but they, they turn at a certain point and they go all in. One moment that, that, that when he attacks Megyn Kelly during, the, during uh, that debate, um, and, uh, and then the debate that, that happens immediately after between uh, uh, Trump's people and, and, and Fox. Do you see that? What's the, what's the relevance of that? Well, what, what Republican voters believed to the core of their being was this. They believe that Barack Obama, with the help of a complicit Republican establishment that was profoundly corrupt, wrecked America. And so what they were looking for was strength. And in that moment, 
here's what voters saw. They saw a generation of Republican politicians who kowtowed to Fox News, who genuflected. Then they saw somebody take on Fox News and Trump won. He broke Fox News. In the steel cage death match of Republican politics in that instant, Donald Trump became king. Right.